this is Lightspeed English, and here we are in an interview with Kim May. Kim May. Hi, Kim. Hello. Thank you for doing this interview with us. No problem. Okay, um, Kim. Where is it that you work, and what do you do exactly? I work in a residence information centre in Middlesbrough. It's called Streets Ahead for Information. Mm -hmm. and we deal with anything and any problems that residents may have if they want to know what's happening in their local area, for example the local gala, if they want to report a problem with litter, they come mm -hmm. in here for that, if they want to know where there are classes on for English or computers, we can help them with that as well. We also okay. provide links to the local police, to councillors, anything and everything. We are the hub of the community. Okay, so kind of the centre of this area, yeah? Yeah. And I believe I've heard it called a one-stop shop, is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. One-stop shop means that a resident or a business person can come in here and we can tell them where they need to go to get help. Okay. It may be that we don't know the answer, but we will know a person who will know the answer. Right, okay. So do you, do you get many people coming for help? We get about 50 people a day. Wow, okay. Um, also, the centre provides uh, language training, doesn't it? We do. Yeah. And, and who, who is the person, which group uses this as a language provider? It's Middlesbrough Community Learning Service, as they're currently called. Yeah. And they, will, they have an office here run by a lady called Alison Robinson, who's the manager, and they will tell you what classes are available at different levels, how much it will cost you, what days of the week and they will do an assessment for you, also exams, to help you at the end of your course as well. Okay, all right, excellent. So it's a, it's a very important place in the community, it isn't is. it? Yeah, okay. And how long have you worked here? I've worked here for eight years now, mm -hmm. and the centre's been open. We've just celebrated our 10th birthday. We had a big party. Okay, so you, you've been here really virtually since the beginning. I have, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, and do you find the job um, fulfills you? It's challenging. No two days are the same. Mm -hmm. um, we never know who is going to walk through the door or what their query is going to be. It is challenging but it really is fulfilling. At the end of the day it's nice to go home knowing that you've helped people. Yeah, yeah, okay, excellent. So um, apart from the job here and what you do, what do you do in your spare time? What kind of things do you like to do? Oh. I uh, currently just joined the gym, so that's my current real first hobby. Mm -hmm. um, shopping, love shopping, okay. shoes, clothes. I like to eat nice food. Nice food. Do you nice like to, food. Do you like to eat it in a restaurant or do you like to prepare it at home? I like to eat in a restaurant and at home I like to have it prepared for me. For you? Okay. I don't do any cooking. My no. husband does the cooking. Ah, so your husband does the cooking. He does the yeah. cooking. He's very good at cooking. Okay. I also like travelling as well. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some of the, um, the, the more interesting countries that you've visited? I've, maybe it's not so much interesting now, but it was at the time. I visited Turkey about 25 years ago. Right. And I remember going to what is now a really, really busy resort called Bodrum. Then it had three hotels mm -hmm. and a local market, and that was it. And that was very, that's the first time I'd been to a country outside of my normal culture. Sure. And that was really, really interesting. Mm. Um, mm. My current favourite is Mexico because I love the people. And sure. I really must get some travelling done in Mexico as well, but okay. I don't at the moment. So where have you been to in Mexico? Have you been to Cancun? I've been to, just outside of Cancun, to a small, a small hotel uh, in the middle of the jungle mm -hmm. and you go out and you see all sorts, you never know quite what's going to be on your balcony. Mm -hmm. But that makes it very, very interesting mm -hmm. and they have a, a reef offshore which you can actually go snorkeling and out oh, to. Lovely. So there's, there's lots to do but it's very quiet. I prefer a quiet holiday, not a Cancun holiday. Right, so you don't like lots and lots of tourists, no? No. No. no, I don't like English tourists. <laughs> this is very common. <laughs> Lots of people that we talk to say, oh, uh, we, we like to go on holiday, but we don't want to be with Brits. And they're British yes. people who are saying yes, that. Yes, that's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah. Why? I think it's, it's an opportunity to meet different people from different places. Um, and half the fun is trying to speak to people in English. Mm -hmm. And you get it right sometimes, and you try and pick up a little bit of their language. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. You can sure. have some very interesting conversations in lifts. Mm -hmm. 
but it's just nice and sometimes some of the Brits abroad aren't on their best behaviour. Okay, you're um, referring to the hooligan type. I am referring to the hooligans who like to eat as much as they possibly can at the buffet and drink as much as they can at the bar. Yeah. And that's not my idea of fun. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> Tell me, um, these days it's very popular to have what's called an all-inclusive holiday. Do you like that style of holiday, all-inclusive, or do you prefer to seek out your own food? Do a bit of both. Uh -huh. Do a bit of both. Um, it's, I can see, I do like part of the all-inclusive because you can, it helps you budget for your holiday. Sure. And you know where you're coming from. Um, we have done all-inclusive holidays where everything has been buffets. I don't like that. Mm. We've now found this little hotel where everything you are served and it's silver service, everything is a la carte, so that is really good. But we do like to sort of venture out and we will seek out little local cafes and generally, if it's full of local people, you know it's going to be good. Sure, And that's, Absolutely. Where, that's where we tend to go, is have some local food, some local drink and just what people watch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And, and have you spent much time in Spain? Not recently. No? No, it's a long... I used to go to Spain a lot on holiday, uh -huh. um, to the islands and the mainland, but I haven't been for a lot of years. Okay, when you say the islands, are you talking about the Baleares, the, the Mallorca and yes. all of that? Yeah, those yeah. islands, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think... I can't remember the last time I went. It must be at least 15 years. Right, okay. I suppose so, it like, changed quite a lot now. to Barcelona yeah. on, on, on business. All right. Um, and thoroughly enjoyed Barcelona. I keep saying mm -hmm. I'm going to go back, but I haven't quite got round to it yet. Okay, okay, yeah. And um, you were talking about going to the gym, which is your new mm -hmm. thing. It yeah. is. So what's that about? What do you do in the gym? I've got into a habit now where I go about four times a week. Very good. Uh, it is good. And I'm doing what they call compound weightlifting. So I'm lifting quite heavy weights. I'm not doing many, much aerobics, mm -hmm. um, but the weightlifting is not real heavy sort of stuff, but it, 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 yeah, it, shift, it is shifting away and it is, it's toning the body up as well. Okay, so have you seen, how long have you been doing this now? Since January. January, so we're into what, five months? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and have you seen a, a difference? Yes, I've yeah. two stones. Two stones, wow. Yeah, and oh, I've well. gone down two dress sizes. Mm, that's impressive. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Just lifting weights. Just lifting weights. Have you adjusted your diet as well? Yes. Yeah. What, what have you done there? What we have done is I tend to only eat carbohydrates after I've been training. Right. And generally I try to have a low carbohydrate diet. I don't cut them out entirely mm -hmm. because that isn't a balanced diet. Um, but I do try to, to keep the carbohydrates under control. Okay. Okay. So you, you favour protein if you can. Yes? If I can, I favour protein, yeah. All right. Mm. Um, what's your opinion on, on, I mean, at the moment we're surrounded by so many different diets, so many options. Have you in the past, have you followed many diets? Oh, I've tried fad diets in the past, yes. Yeah. yes. Fad diets. Fad yeah. diets. Mm -hmm. I have tried the ones where you eat nothing but eggs. I have tried the, the all protein diet. I haven't tried the cabbage soup diet. Right. But I do know, my common sense tells me, it has to be a sensible diet, something you can actually keep to. Sure, yeah, yeah um, absolutely. I was listening to something on the radio this morning, saying people, they want to pay for people to go to Weight Watchers for 12 weeks. That's fine for 12 weeks, but, what, mm -hmm. but then what happens? Sure. Um, so it does have to be a change of lifestyle. Yeah, and, and, and as you say, it's something that you can continue afterwards as well. Yeah. Because the, the stats are that people who go to Weight Watchers, which is a group of uh, people who help you lose weight here in the UK, 95% of the people put on weight. Yeah. The same weight or more than before. Generally more. Day. Yeah. Generally more. Yeah. So diets aren't particularly successful, no? No, it has to be. It has to be come a way of life, and it has to be easy. Yeah. If you have, if you're changing stuff, if you have a family, and you say, "Well, we're just going to eat meat," well, that doesn't work for a family. No. They want their treats. They want the carbohydrates. So it has to be something that fits within your own lifestyle. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. And so, um, what plans? I think we're coming just near to the end. So, what plans have you got for this year in terms of holidays? Where are you off to? In three weeks' time, I'm off to Egypt. For a, That is just a, a week's drop and flop holiday. Drop and flop? Drop and flop. All right. I go to the sun, take a book, take my headphones and plenty of sunblock and just chill for a week. So, drop and flop is just relax. Yeah? Just completely relax. Okay. And okay. then in December we go up to Mexico. Right, lovely. And 
planning to do a bit of touring on that, but it depends on how we're feeling at the time. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Kim. That's okay. been great. Thanks a lot for your help. No problem. All right. Bye. Bye.